Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making a similar folio to the one that was just shown and that was using Periwinkle Matilda's kit called Vintage Violets and today I'll be making the same folio but using the new kit called Dorothy Rose. Here's some pieces that I've already cut out. And there's a lovely family history about this kit. So I would encourage you to watch Ellie's video about that. And I'll link that in the description below. I'll just show you the basics here before we get started. This is one sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11, but it's cut down to seven inches tall. And these two flaps that make the pocket join the next piece of paper. So there's a total of three pieces of paper here. And then they join at the pockets. And then one is folded here, and then it's also folded to make a pocket here. And then this one has a little bit of a spine on it and a scalloped edge that makes the flap for the closure. And then there's a ribbon closure. And then on the other side, the ribbon goes underneath the image here. So I'm going to show you how to make this. I thought I would put the pink on the inside and the green on the outside. So I'm just going to cut these eight and a half by 11 sheets down to seven inches tall. So I've cut down my base page to what I feel comfortable with and the pockets on each side are approximately two and a half inches. I did cut them down until they were almost meeting up in the middle. And so the next page I will also make a fold less. I'm going to make this one less than the other one. And then the notch will go here. And I'll just do that now. So I have a guide. Seven inches. Middle is three and a half. And I don't have a circle punch, so I use my little bottle here and just put a faint line there. And then I will cut it out. Okay, so that's how that's going to look. And then for the other side, I want to do the same thing. So take the other piece of paper and I'm just going to use this as a template. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side, but I want to make sure that the paper orientation, because they're opposites, I have to do it on the opposite side. So I'm just going to fold that back. I know these are the same same size now, so that will be at two and a half. And I've got my ruler here to show me where two and a half inches is. So now I have the two opposing pockets and they're going to go like this. And the reason that I wanted to extend this a bit is because if they were flush like this, it might be a little bit harder to put things inside. And I think this actually gives a nice uh, a border look to it, which I like. Okay, so for these two pieces... I want this next fold to be exactly the same size as the 
folio, but I want the fold to go this way. So I'm just going to line that up with the folio edge there. As long as it's straight. And then that becomes a pocket. And I, I can actually, that's a little bit of excess, so I might cut some of that off. So now we're going to have the other side. And it's going to go like this. And I want it to fold over and then I'll cut a scallop out, but I want it to have a little bit of a spine here. So I'm just going to come in and half at a half an inch, I'm going to put another score line, maybe just a quarter of an inch. And I can see on my ruler where that will be exactly. I don't have a scoring board. So you can see there's two folds there now, and I'm just gonna gently crease that fold. And then that will give some room for when the pockets are filled on the inside and has the folio and the belly band and all that good stuff. So that will be attached. The pocket will be to the first fold. <laughs> and it will go like this. All right, so I have some excess to cut here. And then I'm going to scallop that edge. So what I did to scallop the edge, I'm just going to put a little pencil mark here and here. So I want to work within within that parameter. Seven inch is the middle is three and a half. And so because I don't have anything fancy, I just have this little lid that I keep things in. And I put a little mark in the middle here. So this is going to be the first scallop. And I'm, I've got, I, I just eyeball this and did my best to make it look nice. And so I'm just going to put another scallop a little bit lower here. And then also on this side. And I'm going to try to line these up. So I'm just going to use my ruler at the top of this one and just butt up my lid there and cut that out and then keep these off cuts for the back of the tags later so this is what i have so far here's the middle piece here's the left hand side piece with the fold over pocket and here is the right hand side piece with the spine and the scalloped edge. So it's going to fold like this. And like that. Okay, I did a few things off camera. I made that scalloped edge for the front cover. And I also used that as a guide to cut this pocket in a scalloped edge. And I glued that on each side. I used Fabri-Tac. Glued the pockets together, and so they're glued on three sides. I'll just show you. So that's edge to edge there, or the folds, I should say, the edge of the folds. And then also on three sides on this one, but you want it on, you want it to the left of the spine. And so that's also glued three sides. And so now you can see that it goes like this, this, 
with a pocket there and this will be the front cover and just with glue I put a little bit of lace so I also did a bit of work on the belly band and so I cut it out and these are the the flaps the folds and I like to line mine on the other side uh, just makes it more sturdy um, when you're putting things in and so that will go here and so you fold these tabs in at the top and bottom and then that gives it a little bit of height so you can put things underneath so to glue that on that would be nice in there like this on the outside front this will go so that's on the other side of this this is the file folder that comes with the kit I printed it on double sides and I put some little pieces of masking tape with some distress ink on it so I just put that piece of tape on the back of my hand and I just distressed inked it you can see on my hand there's some ink there and put the tabs in the corners there and this is the word that comes with the kit I just put that underneath a little bit of the excess paper and uh, attached the little word there and then just snipped around it to make it look like a little little frame so that will go into the belly band and the, the kit comes with this cute library card so let's make that so again double-sided print and we're just going to fold at the line here score and fold I want to go the other way because we're putting this picture on the front I want to keep this pretty paper at the back there however you want to do it it's fine and I also inked up all of the all of the pages all of the ephemera everything has been inked with distress ink I put my folds on the inside so a little bit of tape on there or glue and the little flower decal for the front distress ink so I think a good place for this might be on the inside here okay that's gonna go in the center there as much as I can make it centered I have a pocket So to make the pocket just score and fold on the side same on the other side and I increased the percentage that I printed so this is a little bit bigger than the pocket if you just print it straight from the kids
Just make sure that it's coming right in at the corner there. I'm going to go ahead and ink this. I ink both sides just in case some of it shows. I don't like the white showing. in the middle of the belly band. That would be nice. Actually, I'm going to use my uh, crocodile. I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon up here. I'm going to come in about here. Make a little mark, half an inch from each side. Make sure it's straight along there. I'm just going to come in from the side. And that's another reason why I reinforce the other side. So I have this beautiful rose colored ribbon. I want to keep it straight at the back if I can. Okay, now that's ready to go on. Okay, and I'm going to make sure I go in the middle. Watching that line there. Let's continue with making things for inside. This is what I have so far, pocket, belly band. I added this inside here, some lace down the sides and you wanna make sure to put the lace to either the right or the left of the fold, not right into the fold, otherwise they won't fold properly. I also added to the back this beautiful image. If you wanted to put a closure with ribbon, you would put it underneath this image and then it would just come out and tie. I'm gonna do a different closure for this one, but that's the one I did on the Vintage Violets flip through that we saw earlier in this video. So for the space right here, we're gonna put a flip out door kind of situation here and so I thought these doors were quite interesting um, the shape is from flap on the end of the of the cardboard container and I love the shape of it so I just cut this way and I just moved it accordingly so there's a flap on this so you cut it out like this and then I moved it up to do the other side and then I cut inside the inside flap so you wouldn't see that from the outside so that's that this is printed double-sided so when you flip it out you'll see the nice paper on the inside and then this is single-sided 
and I'm going to attach the hinge, put the hinge underneath this paper here and just making sure that it's folded. I'm going to use my double sided tape and a little bit of glue. Never get right to the edges with the double sided tape. And everything has been inked and this crease in here has been inked as well because it will show from the inside. Always losing my bone folder here it gets stuck in the pile. Okay, and just to make sure that the paper is facing the right orientation. And for this one, for the closure, I won't be able to do a double sided button situation because the crocodile won't only goes in about three quarters of an inch from any edge. And I won't, I didn't leave enough. There's not enough clearance on this one because it is, um, the two edges, outside edges are overlapping. So there's not that gap for the, the two buttons and the string. So I did come up with something different. That's good. So I am able to put one button. I made some buttons here. I'll use the green one. So I am able to put one button and then I will put some elastic and then I'll just attach this elastic to the back. And then that will just loop over the button. So let's do that. Just eyeballing where this should go. But you see what I mean? I can only go that far. And then if this was going to be two buttons, this second one would have to go over here, which is farther than the reach of the, of the crocodile. And just wrap the, the elastic around here, flip it over, make sure it doesn't go on the other end, end there. So just make sure that it's straight to the side there. First I'm going to add some double sided tape. Just hold it in place while it's drying. Just take a second look. Okay, that's good. And a little bit of glue and some tape. Okay, that looks good. We'll go ahead and put that in. Make sure I'm in the right orientation there. And I want to make sure that I'm in the middle between these two because there is that spine there. Make sure I'm straight. Okay, I'm going to let that go. And I'm just going to put this under a book to dry for a few minutes. So this little mini folio is dry and then the loop of elastic just goes around it. Off camera I made a little closure so I just put a eyelid there. I made a hole and put an eyelid there and just fed the ribbon through the hole and one is cut longer than the other so the longer one goes around and then it comes up to meet the other smaller one. 
and then they just tie on the side like that and I added a cluster of some lace and ribbon and this is a little flower that I made using a strip of fabric and I will link to a video tutorial I have on how to make that flower it's super easy so we go in here there's the word love I made a little envelope and inside the envelope I just have a little tag of those papers and then this closure just goes around and I put a few little beads on the bottom so that closes like that over here I added a fussy cut and in the pockets I made another little tag and the kit comes with this great ephemera and then that can be a journal card on the back and a little postcard and so those fit nicely into this little pocket and flip again and inside under the belly band have the little file folder and that's got the library card inside that fits nicely in there and then we open the doors and there's the beautiful family and then they all go back together again and on the back is the beautiful lady Dorothy and I did do a little stitching around here and there you go this is a beautiful kit and I had a lot of fun making this folio and I hope you'll join us on the Periwinkle Matilda Facebook group. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye.